Hey, I'm Ben Bentley. I am a music and portrait photographer. Um, today, I'm at the Wex store in Whitechapel in London uh, to teach uh, a lighting workshop. So this morning, we're going to be looking at some indoor studio setups. And then this afternoon, we're going to be heading outside to mix strobe with ambient light on location. During today's workshop, we're going to start off doing some indoor studio setups using the Interfit Honey Badgers. Um, so these are some great sort of 320 watt studio heads, uh, which are going to offer some really versatile looks with one, two and potentially three lights. Uh, and then this afternoon, uh, we're going to head out onto location and we're going to look at mixing studio strobe, but on location with ambient light. Um, and we're going to be using the Interfit S1, which is a really, really cool and pretty, pretty compact 500 watt uh, monolight. So that is going to offer us that ability to sort of to fight that ambient light and to mix the two to create the results that we're looking for. In the type of work that I produce, I'm quite often in situations where I'm working with less than ideal ambient light, whether it's artificial or natural. By introducing strobe into those situations, I am then taking charge of those scenarios and I'm able to create a directional light which is going to allow me to achieve the looks that we're aiming for been using the Interfit S1 for just over a year now and to be perfectly honest it's got everything that I at this moment in time want from a monolight. It's 500 watts which is more than enough power even when I'm working outside and fighting sort of middle of the afternoon sunshine. It's got the high speed sync which is super important to me because when I am working outdoors it's really really important to be able to surpass that sort of native shutter speed of my camera. So yeah realistically no cables means I'm not carrying big batteries around like I used to be and sometimes that's the difference between between needing an assistant for a short setup and not needing one. One of the other huge advantages uh, with the S1 is that it does work in conjunction in a wider ecosystem with the other Interfit strobes. So for instance, when I'm producing a look in the studio, which might be three, four, five, six lights, I use my S1 heads alongside, for example, the honey badges in order to create the looks that we're going for. So that to me is a really, really big bonus, being able to mix and match. And quite often if I'm heading out for the day, I might pack one S1 and two honey badges, and that is a much more concise set setup than perhaps just you know bringing the kitchen sink. I'm really lucky that literally what I do for a living is a really big part of my personality anyway so I, I adore shooting pictures full stop. Um, music is what got me into photography in a much more serious sense than I had been into photography um, so music and shooting live music particularly kind of focused my attentions and sort of really honed my sort of technical skills but what I realised as time went on was that it was actually the people who were making this music um, that really sort of interested me. So that was where my portrait work kind of grew from. And I think at this point in time, I'm just excited by people who are excited by stuff. So people who are really into whatever it is they do, whether they're a musician, an actor, I don't know, even, even, even if what you do is quite mundane, if you care about it, I love the idea of being able to try and present that in, in, the, in the images that we create. So yeah, so telling stories at the end of the day through portraits is, is sort of where my heart really lays. And I'm super lucky that I get to do that for work, but I also get to do that on my own time as well. The Honey Badger is the newest uh, addition to the, the Interfit Strobe family, but it's a really, really cool option, which uh, and certainly a base they weren't covering before. So it's a 320 watt head. Uh, it's in an amazing sort of compact sort of cube body. Uh, it's really, really bright, which is practical from the point of view of actually seeing it when you're in a dark studio. But I think just having that amount of power in a really, really neat head, super simple, uh, just does what it says on the tin. Every control has a very specific function. There's no convoluted menu system. You literally take it out of the box, plug in that lead, and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, I love that it works with the S1 in the wider ecosystem, but on their own, these heads are a really great option for somebody who is wanting um, an interior studio light system. Whether you're using one, two, or more, they are offering a great amount of power for realistically a very very small package at a really good price point. Music has always been really really important and growing up um, I was in yeah I was in various bands I played guitar not particularly well uh, and I realized I was actually having more fun like taking pictures along the way um, and that to me became a way to potentially be in that industry and serve a purpose that I felt I was actually uh, doing a half decent job of. So in terms of that learning curve when I sort of focus my attention on shooting live music, all of a sudden you realize that if you can expose a shot in some of the darkest, dodgiest, 
lighting conditions imaginable in the dark corner of a back room of a venue, then realistically, once you're in charge of that light, you can actually create some really, really stunning stuff. And it's from there my portrait work started to take shape, uh, shooting the musicians and the bands that I was kind of meeting at that point. And it kind of all flourishes from there, really. And eventually down the road, I realized that telling stories, people who are interested in something and genuinely care about what they do, that passion and trying to convey it became sort of central to what I was doing. Um, and I never really imagined that sort of, yeah, shooting bands for big music magazines would result in me then going on to work with commercial clients, brands I'd never sort of imagined on paper being a fit for. But all of a sudden they see the way you treat a certain type of subject and they think, okay, we'd like you to treat this subject matter like that and it kind of it spirals from there it's tricky to sort of track the exact trajectory but that is kind of sort of the, the curve that it sort of took and i'm really really grateful for that yeah.